coaching programs because I realized that like so much of it is around, you know, knowing who you are outside of how you look and knowing that, you know, who you are is valuable and worthy and having, um, you know, like goals and interests and passions outside of just trying to lose weight. Um, and so that's when I really was like, I want to support people on the body image piece of the puzzle and really use the, the coaching tools and frameworks that I've used and use those in a way that really supports people to uh, build up a greater sense of self and uh, self-awareness, self-compassion, have an identity outside of how they look and really break free of these, you know, these societal standards that, that are making us feel like nothing they ever do is good enough. And so I've been doing that exclusively for about nine years now, just working specifically around body image and, um, and I love it and it's great. And I'm so glad that I went in that direction. We would never do that to a pet. We would never do that to a child. So why would we want to, like, why would we think that that's how we take care of ourselves? Um, now, I know why we do, because that's how we've been conditioned. But then we want to look at what we're actually saying yes to, you know? And I think that what we're saying yes to is we're saying yes to caring for our whole selves, like physical, mental, and emotional. Um, we're saying yes to being respectful, being compassionate with ourselves, cultivating self-trust. Like those are all great things in my mind. Um, you know, and maybe not everybody wants to do that. That's fine. Again, it's like comes back to that being an individual choice for you. But like if I look at taking care of something in my life, like if I look at my son and I think, OK, I want to take care of him. Um, you know, I want to treat him with respect. I want to feed him. I want to make sure he's nourished. I want to, you know, make sure that he rests well. I want to make sure that like, I'm being really compassionate to him, that like his emotions are important, that who he is is important. You know, you owe yourself the same level of, of respect. And I think that that's like what it really means to take care of yourself. At least that's my own personal definition. And I think we all get to decide what our own personal definition is of taking care of ourselves. And so once you sort of decide what that is, and you can go in that direction, I think most of us would find that it's pretty polar opposite to what, you know, what dieting teaches us to do, you know, this idea that you have to just like push through and go hard and like you just need better self-control and even biologically, like we can't even keep up with that. Our bodies will revolt that. And so... Um...